Hey everybody, I want to take just a minute today and talk about some incredible opportunities, and I mean incredible opportunities, that have presented themselves in the mortgage market these days, and that may sound like hyperbole to you, but the truth of the matter is, I don't know what the word hyperbole actually even means. Here's the thing, is right now there is record high, and I mean record high equity, and record low interest rates. This is a very, very rare combination. And what it's doing is it's providing opportunities for a lot of people out there that may not have had them before. So um, I know you don't need me to go through this kind of thing because I know you totally relate to this, but how many times have you felt like, man, I'm working like crazy to get ahead and I cannot get ahead financially. I'm working my fingers to the bone, you know, like they say. And But still, a bill comes up, a medical bill, a medical debt. Those are very common. You need extra cash. You have extra bills. It seems like no matter how much you uh, work towards paying down those credit cards or car payments, you know, you get that statement every month. It shows up and you open it up and you just <gasps> have that big gasp because the balance has not gone down like you thought. Mm-hmm or you had some extra expenditures on there. I've never been there. Anyway, so here's the thing. The bottom line is, is for whatever reason, whether you're looking at maybe some potential opportunity where you need some cash, or you just are looking for a way to actually get ahead financially, there may be some great opportunities out there for you if you own a home. And so I just wanna walk through a couple of, uh, or a scenario here that we're using quite a bit in our office to do this. Now, here's the thing. This is the magic. Not just get cash out of your house, but potentially even to save more interest compared to doing nothing. And I mean save more interest on the mortgage alone. That's actually possible because here's the, the main question that we get, and it's a very, very valid question. In fact, you might be thinking this to yourself anyway. Okay, if I pull cash out of my house, and let's say I use that cash to pay off short-term debts like credit cards, car payments, etc. In the end, won't I be paying more interest in the long run? Like, won't I be paying three times the amount of what my car was worth or what my payoff was? And that is a very valid question, and it actually can happen, and we want to be very, very careful if that's not what you want to do. We want to be careful... Um, that that doesn't happen. And here's the thing is it's actually very, very possible if the mortgage is structured correctly. So there's a lot of things that you're probably aware of. You've probably been eyeing your uh, equity and thinking, huh, I wonder how I can put that to work. How can I get financially ahead with it? Oh, but I have some reservations on the other side. So check this out. I'm going to show you how to actually borrow more money than what you owe, and potentially pay less interest over the long run. And here's the cool thing, is it's not just, um, you, it's not using some crazy product or some you know, nutty thing that maybe torpedoed us in 2008 or whatever the case may be. It's not anything revolutionary. It's just using simple conventional mortgage products that are out there all the time, and using some new features that are attached to them and simple math, because in the end, the math wins out and will show you, give you all the direction you need. Okay, so, um, so check this out. Okay, so these are the steps that you'll wanna walk through and I'm gonna take you through them right now. Now, if you do a debt killer mortgage call, which I'll talk about in just a minute, um, we'll walk you through these steps, but we will also go a lot more in depth. But this should give you enough to get the wheels turning, to give you some ideas on how you might be able to utilize your house equity to get ahead financially, okay? All right, so step one, the very first thing we do is we evaluate the current asset. And what is your asset? Well, obviously it's your home. So uh, we wanna know what the value is. You wanna look at your current mortgage terms and how much you owe. Because a cash out refinance is going to be very, very uh, sensitive, or I should say the amount of cash that you can get when doing a cash out refinance is going to be very, very dependent on how much uh, equity you have. Makes sense, right? Obviously. So, but we wanna know what your current setup is. Like 
one thing that, and one question to answer is how many years you have left on your current mortgage. We also calculate how much interest you have left on your current mortgage. So gather all that information, get as much information about your current mortgage that you can and your current house situation, okay? So then step two is to consider and prioritize your cash needs. So that should be your cash needs. Um, that includes all of your debts. That includes um, other cash that you may want for other opportunities. In other words, how much are you wanting to get out of your house? That's, that's the real question, in addition to paying off your current loan. And of course, we go into more detail about that, interest rates and all that kind of stuff. But get an idea of how much you would want. And then this is really, really important, is to prioritize. So I always uh, talk about doing priorities A, B, and C. So what is if you can't have everything, but you could only get one thing, what would that be? What debt would you pay off? How much money would you get? And then in a next, in a perfect scenario, how much would you get? And then anything in between. So you want to prioritize where you want to allocate any extra additional cash that you get from um, doing the cash out refinance. Okay. All right. So once that's all put into place, and you don't have again, you don't have to have all these data in front of you. We'll walk you through this. And we've got a system with our debt killer mortgage call that we have used for a long time that's very, very beneficial. Um, but to get an idea of where you should be, start gathering some of this data, okay? All right, and then the next step is to go ahead and get pre-approved. Uh, let's take a look at uh, credit scores, all that kind of stuff, because credit also is a very big factor into getting a cash out refinance. And you wanna make sure that your credit scores are as high as they can be um, or that we're setting the loan terms up so that they match what your credit scores are the very best we can. Okay, all right, now step four, and the, it's in red, and now it's underlined in green. Step four is really where the magic is, and this is where a lot of people miss out. It's a very simple thing to do, but it takes a little bit of number crunching, and when it's all put together though, oh man, it can be so sweet. Okay, so, that is look at a cu customize your repayment term. Now, what do I mean by that? So um, oftentimes this means getting a shorter term than 30 years, okay? Because um, that's, again, a big problem that people have. Well, I'm restarting this 30-year clock, right? So we take a look at a shorter term. Now, I'm not talking a 15-year, although we can look at that, or even a 20-year, we can look at that but I'm talking about a custom term. So for example, if you've been in your mortgage already for three years, um, you may not be aware of this, but you could actually select a 27 year term. Or maybe it makes sense to do a 25 year term if you're paying off a bunch of debts up here and it frees up a bunch of cash flow, or maybe a 20 year term. Anyway, this is where the magic is. We have um, spreadsheet calculators that we use that calculate the amount of interest that you would pay based on the term that you select. And what that does is that tells you um, where your sweet spot is for repaying the cash out mortgage. Let me give you an example of how this can work. We had a client that borrowed $250,000, okay? And that two, of that $250,000, 50,000 of that was cash. So they only owed $200,000. Well, when we were calculating their uh, remaining interest, we were able, because of the amount of debt they were paying off, we were able to move the new loan to a 20-year loan for them. And what that did was that created an $18,000 interest savings on the new loan compared to the old loan, which was... $200,000 um, remaining. So if they had just kept their old loan, they would have actually ended up paying over the life of the loan $18,000 more than borrowing an extra $50,000 and shortening the term to a 20 year. And, um, and that is only factoring in the mortgage interest. That did not even count all the debts that they paid with that $50,000. And their cash flow uh, became incredibly positive for them because they killed all those debts and their house payment actually stayed about the same 
um, than even though they borrowed an extra $50,000. So it was a slam dunk. Um, now, of course, everybody's situation is different. Your mileage may vary. But the bottom line is, with increased equity, record high equity, and record low interest rates, there is great opportunity if we apply some of these extra thought processes, uh, there's great opportunity to actually get, uh, get ahead financially and quick. And in some cases, pay less interest overall. So I hope that, I hope that gets the wheel turning, um, the wheels turning, I should say. If you're talking about me, it's a wheel. With you, it's wheels for sure. But we've got a very, very specific system that we use to help clients through this. And uh, that will be through the debt killer mortgage call um, and offer that we have here. I hope that information was helpful for you. If it's something you'd like to explore further, um, the very best thing to do is to schedule a debt killer mortgage call, okay? A debt killer mortgage call. And you can do that just by clicking the link below booking the call. Here's what you get with a debt killer mortgage call. A free analysis, over, we'll go through all your debts, um, all the payments, um, interest rates, all that stuff. We'll look at the valuation of your home, um, what your home is worth. And in fact, we'll actually even provide a free digital home valuation model. Um, we'll do a free credit review and um, we'll do a whole review of what we call that debt killer mortgage calculation. We'll run it through our spreadsheets. We've got some pretty cool calculations to help you decide what the term should be for you. So go ahead and book that call today. If you're not ready to book the call, that's totally cool. Just fill out the form below and say, hey, I just want some more information. And that's great.